Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to Young Family uh, YouTube channel. Today is July 25th, 2022. In today's video, I'm going to go through with you for some reasons why my air layered lemon tree produces a lot of blossoms but only set very little fruits. Stay tuned. So guys, check out this big lemon tree, which is planted in a 15 gallon size container. So let's go ahead and take a look at this label. This is a lemon tree I air led last year on December 10th. And this year, May 22nd, I transplanted into this big container. On my YouTube channel, there's two videos specifically talking about this lemon tree, regarding how I air led this lemon tree and how I cut off rooted branches and transplanted into this container. If you are interested, you can go back to check out and click the playlist Citrus Tree Propagation and Care. I put a link down below in the description for your convenience. And also you can click the link on the top right of the screen and watch later. Unlike some other lemon trees, which usually produces flowers in early spring, such as February and March, just like this mother lemon tree, this lemon tree in the container produces flowers in June. At that time, it produces a lot of blossoms, all the flowers in clusters. At that time, most of the flowers are pretty normal. I still can find a lot of small fruits. I didn't pay attention to this lemon tree until last week when I checked out this lemon tree. I had thought I can find a lot of small fruits, but unfortunately, I can hardly find any fruits on this lemon tree. First, let's count how many lemons are still on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here, nine, and a 10. So basically you can see this is really big lemon tree. But unfortunately, so far I can only find 10 lemons on it. I don't know why. Something wrong with this lemon tree. So first let's check out what the normal lemon flower look like. You can check out the left side flower because that flower is still opening. Each lemon flower includes female part and male part. In the middle of the flower, you can see that is a female part. The female part, also known as pistol, which includes stigma, style, and ovary. The male part is called stamen, which includes anther and filament. So guys, let's check out another flower, which is still open on the same lemon tree. You can see this flower, the male part, still okay. It looks like pretty normal. But unfortunately, the female part is completely absent, is missing, no female part. So guys, check out another flower, which is still open. Very similar to the last one. This flower, the female part is also missing. And this flower, the female part is missing. Check out this flower, the part of male part still left on this flower. But the female part is totally gone. So guys, we are ready to check out this lemon tree and only find 10 lemons on this lemon tree. And most of the flowers, kind of, the female part are still missing. I don't know why. So let's go through some reasons which might cause the problem. So first, let's check out this lemon tree. Generally speaking, this lemon tree, it is pretty healthy. You can not find any sun, this lemon tree is infected with any disease. So basically, I think it is pretty healthy. So we can exclude the possibility this lemon tree is infected with some disease. The second thing I'd like to mention is watering. As you can see here on the top of the soil, you can see a lot of mulch. Actually, when I transplanted this lemon tree into this container, I put a lot of mulch on the top of the soil. So basically, there's two purposes. One is keep the root system cool, especially during the hot summer. The second is keep the soil moist. 
you can see right now still a lot of moisture in the soil so actually i just uh, routinely water this lemon tree and also you can check out the grass around this container you can see a lot of grass compared with some other area just around this container you can see a lot of long grass and also i remove this container a little bit you can see the roots from the grass so basically all this area kind of a lot of high moisture the humidity is high so i don't think watering is the problem so actually it did not dry out for this lemon tree the third thing i'd like to mention is fertilizers actually if you check out my previous video especially talking about this lemon tree when i transplanted this lemon tree into this container i put some fertilizers in this container so basically i applied some chicken manure and homemade compost as base fertilizers meanwhile i also applied some slow release fertilizers in this soil actually all these fertilizers is well balanced fertilizers which contains NPK and also includes some other micronutrients. Later, I also applied some well-balanced, fast-acting fertilizers and watered these plants. During the blooming season, I also applied some monopotassium phosphorus to increase more flowers for foliar spray. So I don't think this lemon tree has any kind of nutrients deficiency. The first thing I'd like to mention is spot. Actually, this is one of the most sunny spot in our backyard. Actually, this lemon tree in this spot can receive kind of like a full sun at least six hours per day. So I don't think this lemon tree has a problem, cannot receive enough sunlight. The fifth thing I'd like to mention is weather. Actually, when this lemon tree was planted into this container, it is at the end of May. Actually, that time in our Los Angeles area is kind of like a summer. So during the summer, I don't think we have any like a dramatic like, temperature change during the summer day. So I don't think the temperature is the problem caused some fruits dropped. Another reason some people might ask, maybe this lemon tree is not old enough. So that's why this lemon tree cannot produce a lot of fruits. Actually, I don't think this is the reason for this lemon tree cannot produce a lot of fruits. Basically, I should not worry about it. I can show you the proof. This is one orange tree I layered last year and I transplanted into this container. So let's go and check out this label. You can see this is orange. So last year in March, I layered. In October last year, I transplanted into this container. So you can see right now, this lemon orange tree produce about six oranges on it. Even though this is air layered as the lemon tree, I just planted it into this container two months ago. But actually, this lemon tree, modern lemon tree, is well established. It's a mature lemon tree, which produces a lot of lemons every year. One of the most amazing characters for air layering technique, that's you can let any fruit trees produce fruits at the same year after you transplant it into the containers. So that's why I don't think this lemon tree is not old enough to bear any fruits. So actually right now you still can find some lemons on this lemon tree. So I don't think that is the reason this lemon tree is not well established. It is not old enough to produce fruits. We should not worry about it. The reason why right now this lemon tree does not have a lot of fruits, there's two reasons. One reason is some flowers. Actually, I don't know for some reason, the female part is missing, just as I mentioned, that flower. You see here, this flower, the female part is missing. The second is I just mentioned at the beginning. So in June at that time, even though I didn't pay more attention on these flowers, but I, I do. I can find a lot of fruits on these flowers. So basically, probably at the beginning, the flowers, they still produce some fruits, but unfortunately, in July, for some reason, they dropped. 
So that's why right now I can still find very little fruits on this lemon tree. Regarding this kind of flowers, which miss female part, I once checked online. I do find some discussion about this kind of flowers. They said for some lemon specific varieties, they do have a lot of flowers which miss female parts. The reason I feel surprised about this kind of flower because I planted a lot of different citrus plants such as orange, lemons, and mandarins. I seldom find this problem. But you know, based on the website, they said they did happen on some specific variety of lemon tree. Regarding the second reason, at the beginning I was mentioned in June when this lemon tree was in blooming season, I still can find some flowers with fruits on it but right now it's kind of most of the fruits already dropped so basically this might be the most important reason i should think about it even though i as mentioned this lemon tree i fertilizers a lot i don't think it is any nutrients deficiency but this is a new lemon tree in this container so basically the root system is not strong enough even though the soil has a lot of nutrients, but the root system is not strong enough. They cannot intake enough nutrients to support this lemon tree. Actually, you know, just one month after I transplanted this lemon tree in this container, physically, this lemon tree produced a lot of blossoms. Because when the lemon tree is in blooming season, it produces a lot of flowers. It uses a lot of energy from this lemon tree so basically we need feed a lot of fertilizers just as i mentioned when i transplanted this lemon tree into this container i applied a lot of fertilizers into the soil actually later i also routinely apply some fertilizers for this lemon tree so basically supposed this lemon tree should not have any kind of nutrients deficiency but unfortunately, this lemon tree probably does not have a strong root system to intake enough nutrients to support this lemon tree, especially when this lemon tree was in blooming season. But one of the most important reasons I have to think about is boron deficiency, because boron deficiency can increase the drop of flowers and reduce the fruit set. So based on the current situation, I think boron deficiency might be another reason to cause this problem. So basically, I already purchased borax from the Amazon website and also I prepared some boron fertilizers to apply on this lemon tree. So basically, I just use solution for foliar spray. So basically, you can just dissolve one teaspoon borax in two gallon water and mix well for foliar spray. Maybe it is helpful to prevent fruit drop and also can increase the fruit set. So guys, today I already go through several reasons to analyze why this lemon tree has little fruits set on this lemon tree. So if you like today's video, please give a thumb up. Please share, leave comments down below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.